What's up guys, it's Chellers and welcome back to another episode of NHL 19 Franchise Mode with your Vancouver Canucks. In the last episode, we went through the entire uh, regular season. We ended up making it back to the promised land to the playoffs, but uh, I believe it was second wild card that we made, right? Let me just go check to double, uh, let me double check real quick. And yeah, second wild cards were against the... Best team in the Western Conference, Arizona Coyotes, and I think they're also the best team in the league. Yeah, they're the number one team in the, uh, the whole league. So we're against the President's Trophy winners. They have home ice advantage throughout the whole way. If they make it through us and the other teams. And what we'll do now before we get into the games, we'll just look through their team. And we'll see what they have and what made them so good. So, view lines. This is Anaheim's to Arizona. So... Clayton Keller, 91 overall, Dylan Strom, 89, Artemi Panarin, 88, so they have a really solid first line. We have a quite a similar first line. However, their second line, Barrett Hayton, Chris Kreider, and Tom Wilson, I mean, we have kind of a better second line, right? We have, uh, who do we have again? We have Rodgers, who's an 86 or an 87. We have Brady Kachuk, I don't know if we're still playing second line if we're on first line, but if he's second line, he's 88. Then we have the 85 Startini. And if not, we have Alex Tuck was 84. So whatever that is, we have a better one. Then we have, then they have LeBang 81, Dvorak 83, and Craig Smith 82. Uh, we have Horvath was an 84. I don't know if we still have Tanner Pearson was an 83 or an 82. And I don't remember who our other, who our other um, right wing is. So. I'm not sure. I think it's, let's just say it's even for now. And then they have a better forward line. 83 Ryan McLeod. 82 Kevin Hayes. And an 81 Christian Fisher. Our best one is an 81 Danton Hannon, right? Uh, 81 overall. Defense. Ekman Larson. Chikorin. Uh, they have a better top two. You know, we have um, either Shabbat or Hughes. I don't remember who we're playing for his pairing. But 89 overall. And then Cal either Calford or Cloud. They're both 85. So they have a better top two, but we have a better uh, top four. They have one Lucas Wenderberg and Vukojevic. Vukojevic? Uh, what is he? Like fin Canadian, Vukojevic, I guess that's how you say his name. 87-84, uh, we have, again, we have a better uh, top four. And then Antonovic, Samson, I think we have... Your Levy's in 82, right? And who's our right D again? Uh, we'll just we'll look over our team again, just to make sure. I'm not sure the top six is. So goalies, they have Antti Ranta and Ivan Nesterov. He's he, that sounds Russian, right? Yeah, Russian. Antti Ranta, E7 overall. His save percentage throughout the season, 938. So he is genuinely a good goalie. Looking at him over the years, uh, 910, 920, 914, 915, 923, 938. So this is his career year, which explains why Arizona did so good. Uh, his role is starting goalie, potential fringe starter. He's 34 years old, but he can still get it done. So they're a pretty solid team. They don't have any injuries because uh, injuries are off. We'll look at our team again. So yeah, we have DeLuca 85, Pedersen 91, Besser 90. So they have a better winger, but we have a 91 just like them. And we have a 90, they have an 89, Dylan Strom. Second line, we got Brady Kachuk, Rogers, and Tuck. So we have a better second line. Third line, again, we have, to, we have a better third line with Stortini, Horvat, 84 and 80, uh, 87 and 84, sorry, respectively, and Pearson, 81. And then third line, again, I give it to them. They have an 83 McLeod and 82 uh, center. Well, we have just 81 Heinen, 80 VC, and 80 Watson. Defense, yeah, they have a better top six. So we have, they have the better all around core. We have the better uh, top four D. Hopefully we could pull this off and goalies we have the better overall goalie Thatcher Demko He didn't have a great season 914 after before the past seasons at 923 925 So I'm not I'm not sure what to expect from him. Hopefully he is good in the playoffs As you can see 926 940 in his time in the playoffs that is really solid so I Mean they're the president trophy winners. So they're pegged as the favorites. Hopefully we could cause an upset so yeah, let's get into it. So we're starting the first two games away. I uh, will keep the lines as is. So we'll just jump into it now. So simulation. Yep, it doesn't matter. All right, first period. 
Okay, starting off terrible. 3 1. Clayton Kelly gets the scoring off uh, in the playoffs. Then Barrett Hayton and Brady Kutchuk scores the first goal of the playoffs for us. And then Christian Dvorak. Hopefully, he had one back or two back. Second period. Ooh, and they score. Christian Dvorak. That's not good. We'll uh, do slow sim, but it's already not looking good. We've allowed four goals in the first period and 20 shots. And Antiranta is playing solid, but Elias Pedersen scores. So Elias Pedersen scored. That's 34 shots. We are out shooting them. We are out playing them. But unfortunately, it's not looking like we're getting another two goals in the last four minutes. Um, yeah, 20 seconds. There you go. So we scored two goals. We allow four. So that's just not good. Dvorak getting two goals. First star. Antiranta second star with. Two goals against Savage and 9.45 save percentage. And Clayton Keller, one goal and one assist. Not a good start to the playoffs. Again, we are not the favorites. I'm expecting us to win this. Because we are a Stanley Cup winner. But you never know. Alright, if we lose this game, we have to change up the defense and the offense. So we'll get into the second game right now. Go to goals. First period. Okay, they score again. Oliver ekman Larson. We are out shooting them by one. It's a pretty even game. Second period. Still 1-0. Alright, let's get the simulating going. Alright, Alex Tuck scores in the second line, right? Power play, can we score? Yes, Bo Horvath gets one. The second unit scores. Alright, so we're up by one. We have 32 shots there, 17. And Brady Kachuk scores. He gets on the board as well. Another power play. Nothing there. 10 minutes left with a two-goal lead. I mean, there is our offense and there's the defense coming together at once. 41 shots with their 18. So yeah, we are outplaying them these two games. Two minutes left, one minute, and Alex Tuck just seals the deal with the empty netter. His second goal of these of this playoffs uh, season. Yeah, Brady Kachuk with one goal on assist. I didn't check the three stars of the game. That's a that's a mistake by me. But all right, so we what we took one game over there. Now we just gotta win at home. It's sounds it's easier said than done, but anything's possible. We could uh, we could be a really good home team this year. So game three. Let's just get into this right now. Everything is still looking good. Our our offense finally show, our offense showed up. Sorry. So here we go. First period. All right, one one. Bo Horvat and Christian Fisher scores. Second period, two one. There you go. Austin Watson on that fourth line. That's what we want to see. All right, so we're we're getting outshot twenty one to fourteen. Hopefully, we can keep this one goal lead. Probably get another goal back. I need another goal. Uh, eleven minutes left. Ten minutes. Oh boy, this can be really close. Nine, eight, seven. Six power play for Arizona, and we kill it off. Four minutes left. Three, two, one minute. Oh no! And they scored three seconds left. Are you kidding me? Oh my God! Craig Smith on the fourth line. Jeez, three seconds. We almost had it. Oh come on, guys! The net pulled. All right, overtime. Let's try and win this game. Come on, please. They're out shooting us still. Come on, we can't choke this lead. 10 minutes left. Looks like nothing's gonna happen this one. And no, I just chinxed it. Dylan Strom. Oh man, that's annoying. That is really bad. We needed that extra goal. And with three seconds left, they tie it up. Austin Watson. Oh no, Austin Watson scored for us. Wait, wait, who is the one that scored for against us? Uh, why can't I remember his name? Let me go look at the uh, box score. Arizona stats. Uh, Craig Smith, yeah, it was Craig Smith that scored for, scored for them. Yeah, Austin Watson scored for us. Oh, man, that's a horrible lead to choke. Come on, guys. Like, how are we going to win games where we, can't, where we can't keep the lead, that one goal lead, you know? Last playoffs, everything was going good for us. You know, we were keeping those leads. We were, we were shutting the door down, but with three seconds left, man, the net was pulled. We just had to dump it out one more time. All right, game four. Let's just try and get one back. Just one win at home would be great. So first period... All right, we scored two. They score one. Uh, Rogers on our second line again. Craig Smith and then Danton Hyde on our fourth line. Second period. All right, we scored two again. They score one. So Rogers with his second of the night. Stortini with his first goal, first career NHL goal in the playoffs, and Kreider scores on Demko. So we're up by two. We're altering them by five. This should be a solid uh, defensive game for us right now. Don't allow goal in the first ten minutes. We should be good. All right. And what happens? We allow goal in the first five minutes. Power play, let's score right back. Come on, boys. There you go. Rogers getting his hat trick. Was that his first career hat trick in the playoffs? Roger, another power play. We don't score. 10 minutes left. Penalty kill. Can we kill it off? It looks like. Is it a, is it a major? Oh my god. It was a four minute, I think. 
Four minutes left. Three, two, one. There you go. I'm Pinata Thomas Shabbat. It's first of the season. Uh, well, it's first of the playoffs. That's what I want to see. So 6-3 wins. We bounce back both games. Rodgers with seven points in four games, three goals. So we're getting a hat trick in that one game. That's a huge performance by him. And we are off to game number five. Series is tied at 2-2. Uh, anything happen? No, no sweeps are happening. I think St. Louis just going to want to get rid of that sweep from Chicago. And let's get into tour back in Arizona. Let's get a win. And let's put a stranglehold on them. We need this win. This is very important for us. First period. All right, 1-1. One, one. Brady Kachuk scores in that second line. Artemi Panarin scores. Second period. All right. Quinn Hughes, his first goal of the playoffs. 2-1. All right, we have a two one goal lead. We're out them by 10. So we are outplaying them. Score one more goal. And we should be good. Come on, boys. 19 minutes. 7, 18, 17, 16. There you go. Stortini with a second goal of the playoffs. There it is on that uh, second line, right? And then Brady Kachuk scores. I'm oh, sorry, Stortini's on the third line. So there you go. In 10 minutes left with a three goal lead. Four goal lead. Austin Watson on that fourth line. The Vorak scores is a little consolation goal, but it's all right. Five minutes. Four, three, two, one. 21 seconds. And there you go. So we played well. Look at the three stars again. So Brady Kachuk with two goals, zero assists. Keller with two assists. And Demko with a 928 save percentage. So Demko looks a bit inconsistent this, this time. He has what? He's allowed three, three, um, one, two, and what was it? Four in the first game. So he's a little inconsistent, but that's all right. You know, we're back in the playoffs. We're a year off from the playoffs, so it kind of makes sense. Actually, well over a year off the playoffs. So, game number six, we're at home in Vancouver in front of the fans at the Rogers Center. Let's get this done. Brady Kachuk with four goals in nine, five games, nine points. So, that's a little coming out party for him. First period, nothing, nothing. 11-9 to nine the shots for Arizona, so it's all right. Second period, oh, okay, though, they scored two goals. Dylan Strom and Clayton Keller, that is... Not good. We're getting, we're getting outshot 27 to 12. So they are outplaying us. They need this win badly. 3 nothing for Artemi Panarin. Brock Bester gets one on the board. His first to the playoffs. It's about time Bester scores. I mean, um, kind of expecting that. The Lucas got to score. Pedersen, I don't think, scored a goal. Uh, no, the Pedersen score. Oh, but hold on a minute. Brady Kachuk scores to make it interesting. Power play for Arizona. Can we kill it off? Five minutes left. We just need one more goal, boys. Just one more goal. Keep it interesting. Three, two, one. Come on. And the empty netter for Samson, and we don't take it. So, we showed a bit of fight at the end. Besser and Kajak scoring two goals in the third period, but that that 16-second Panarin goal and that empty netter just, it was too much for us, allowing like that. I think it was just that Panarin goal was the backbreaker. Oh, boy. All right. So, again, look, we allow four goals in a loss. That is not good for us. We're in game number seven. Can we do this? I really hope we could. All right, so let's jump into it. So simulate. Oh, man, hopefully. Come on, can we take Arizona out? The President's Trophy winners in the first round. First period. There you go. 2 nothing. DeLuca with his first of the season. And Rodgers with his fourth, I believe. All right, we are getting outshot 12-8. to eight, But we are playing some damn good offense. Second period. All right, we're up by two. With Thatcher Damco, you know what to do. Shut it down. We're up by two. I don't expect the loss here. Let's simulate. Come on. Don't allow goal the first 10 minutes. All I have to ask for. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. Come on. Power play killed this off. Nice. Bo Horvat right out as soon as the power play ends. I just want to see another power play, but Clayton Keller scores. We're still up by two goals. We are shutting them down. We are still out shooting them. 35 to 25. Two minutes, one minute, and your Vancouver Canucks are going to the second round of the playoffs. All right, we played fantastic there. We shut it down when we needed to. I mean, Brady Kachuk just killing it this playoffs. 11 points in seven games. Let's uh, simulate a day and see what happens in the playoffs. So Chicago and St. Louis are in game seven. Toronto Buffalo, game seven. New Jersey Carolina, game seven. And the playoffs is over. So we are facing off. Oh, it's a battle of Canada. The Edmonton Oilers. All right, let's look at the stats in the playoffs to see how our players are doing. So... Brady Kachuk leading our team in points with, with uh, Corbin Rogers, 11 points. But Kachuk has five goals, Rogers has four. 
But still, that second line is killing it. Besser, six points in seven games. It's not bad. The Luka with seven with six points also. That's pretty good. Uh, Horvat, three goals, five points. Solid. Minus one though, but that's all right. Alex Tuck, only four points in seven games. So, um, clearly Rogers and Kachuk are sharing the puck with each other, and probably like the defensemen are getting some assists. Pedersen, four points. I expect a little bit more. He's not playing well. But then again, like that that first line just isn't like clicking so what i may consider doing is switching up tucker de luca with uh stortini they're both 85 overall right yep they're both 85 so i may put him on that first line uh so yeah stortini has three points watson three points uh shabat only three where's hughes Klaus has two hughes once our defense is not providing any of the offense very very interesting so I'm not exactly sure what it is that Rogers has played fantastic. Four goals on 13 shots. Um, power play. Uh, nothing really good of power play here. I mean, two, 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 one, one. So our power play has been like decent. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but uh, that's all right. So we played fantastic. Well, we're against the Edmonton Oilers, right? So we'll look at that after. We'll look at the playoff tree and see what happened. So. In the Western Conference, our conference, St. Louis beating Chicago in seven games. Calgary beating Nashville in six games. And I believe St. Louis actually came back from a 3 0 deficit, right? They were, they were, they were, they stopped the sweep, I remember. So they were, uh, they did, they did the reverse sweep. That's fantastic. Um, so Calgary beating uh, Nashville in six, Edmonton beating San Jose in six, and us beating Arizona in seven. So two game sevens in the West. In the Eastern Conference, Carolina beating New Jersey. Oh, no, sorry. New Jersey beating Carolina in seven. Columbus beating Ottawa in six. Buffalo beating Toronto in seven. And Philly beating Detroit in six. So we have Calgary versus St. Louis. Edmonton versus Vancouver. Columbus versus New Jersey. And Buffalo versus Philly. Only three Canadian teams left after this playoffs. I mean, after this, uh, this series. Probably, uh, there's one guaranteed, maybe two. So hopefully get a team back in Canada, the cup back in Canada. Who won it last year, actually? Uh, let me go check real quick. Oh, I can't check the awards. All right, so I don't remember who won it last year, but uh, all right. So in the next episode, we will be facing the Edmonton Oilers in the second round of the playoffs. Hopefully you can get that win. Uh, remember to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for some more content. We actually just hit 50 subscribers. I'm at 55 now, I believe. I'm, uh, I'm really happy about that. It's a huge milestone, you know, a good starting milestone for me. Hopefully, you can keep that increasing throughout this year and for years to come because it's really fun doing this. Um, I'll try and get another video posted as soon as possible. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next, in the next episode.